Hi guys and welcome to Gaming Bats and this week we're doing top 10 monsters. This Today, is the attack monsters of this week guys. Yes, the attack monsters and top the 10. attack monsters. Then we're going to start at number 10. So who do we have at number 10? Number 10 we have Laker, the Dragon Knight of Fire. We've put him in a top 10 because he's got monsters amount of damage. As you can see by skills, Dragon's Might inflicts continuous damage for two turns if you land a critical hit. A critical hit? Justice. This, this also makes him really good for doing dungeons, as well as just arena. And justice. Channels burning rage to inflict great damage to an enemy. <laughs> he only actually has two attack moves. One passive, one leader. So that brings us to number nine in our list, Shimate. His move, Airbender, resets the attack bars of the enemies. Basically, this enables him to be a beast in the arena, guys. And also, his cyclone hits like a truck. Just like my arms. I was half tempted just to say that all of the Sylphids should be in here, or the Sylph, sorry. But, um. Yeah, my This one stands one. out for attack, guys. Coming in at number eight in our list, guys, the mighty Lagmaron. And if you're like me, any of the Chimeras would be number one, but unfortunately, I have none. <laughs> so the thing that makes this our number eight is the move Squall. The faster your attack speed, the greater your attack damage. And the attack speed is also increased for two turns if you get a critical hit. Which is pretty fucking rocking. So, in any circumstances, you hit a squall and they'll be squalling. Number seven in our list, we once again join the mighty Chimera again. Ziratu, the dark Chimera. One amazing. of my favourites, guys, and his trample move is the one you want to look out for. It goes well with forbidden power, his passive move. It hit continuously over and over and over again. Good for dungeons, good for PvP. He's an all rounder to me. Just straight out Rex, guys. He just monster. straight out Rex. Yeah, he looks like Zorn in the morning. Good luck getting one of them, though. <laughs> yeah, very rare. Scraping in at number six in our list, guys. This is Orang, the nine tailed fox of wind. Her special move, Sweet Talk, the last move is the one you want to look out for. In the uh, PvP arena, she's known for one hit in new animals. She can sweet talk me any day, baby. <laughs> <laughs> she boom, boom. All the white knights out. <laughs> Number five in our epic monster countdown is Sophia with her epic spinning slash. She's amazing, I've got her. When I go to the toilet, I spin in slash. These are, uh, she's, she's well known for one hit in water type people so watch out water types with that spinning slash she'll leave a gash one of the most powerful four stars in terms of attack guys Woo! Bam. moving on to number four in our list guys and at number four is this beast here Cyrus. Yes. he looks at me i've actually found a mine with this carry and it's amazing especially for his last for f just like boss <laughs> Attacks release with a thick breath and play skill cooldown. Good. It is stress. It's good in all situations. Uh, don't do. You know, if I'm good, bros, bros, who just use. Is the unit look up? Increase attack power. Well, this brings us to three guys. Malaka. Malaka, number three in our list, has exploded all the way up as a newer monster. We nearly chose JoJo for this position, but. As he's the newer monster and he's a water type, we think we'll go with Malacca. He's also a bomber. Oh, I'll just, he's cute. So the uh, skills we're looking at are the Time Bomb and Ice Bomb. These combined together make a deadly little rat that he is. I would not want him in my house under my doormat. <laughs> Leave those bombs to tread on. <laughs> Daddy, please. <laughs> One of the most powerful attackers in the game, this monster. Please have a read and uh, see what you think. Number two in our list, the mighty Lucian, one of the most controversial choices in the list and one of the most overused monsters in this game. It had to be in here because of his amputation magic. One of the powerfulest damage dealing moves in the game. Didn't you used to have one of those? Yeah. Once upon a time, I had a Lucian Bieber. And it was <laughs> the little Lucian Bieber Guys, played very well. For someone that had the character, you're ignoring something. He ignores their defence. Oh. Thank well, you very much for that, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to number one. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, that brings us to number one in our list of the top ten attack monsters. Rising from the ashes, the mighty Tashar. The Wind Phoenix, please. 
He is a beast and a beast and a half. You have him in your team, you're gonna dream, because he'll be your dream. He's a hard hitter motherfucker, and I want him in my bed. Good luck getting one. Tell him, Sean, why is he so good? He's so good because of his third skill. I don't actually know what it does, guys. I can't read any of the shit that you're trying to prompt to me. So, Tempest. Uh, Tempest. He just hurricanes a whole temple. Storm becomes instantly reusable if the enemy dies. It's like a violent rune, isn't it? It's like As a well. fire and a gammy. Annihilate. It's, oh, like oh, yeah. it's like a personal backpack of violent runes. Almost like having a Megan in your back that makes the attack a lot stronger. Yeah, like a personal Megan. So, on your back. For our number one attacker, because he is an attacker after all, and he hits hard, this guy is our number one. Tune in next week. Big shout out to our guildie Kaski, who has one of the best ones in the game. And remember guys, this was just our top ten list, and I'm sure you have your own. I would love you to tell us about it in the comments below. Thank you guys. Tune in next week. Tune in next week for our next one. Top ten supporters. See ya.